And howdy folks. It's hot and survival dog over there. My sister's dog is taking a nap. And this is Uncle Al's chats. Hi folks. Like I said, non-stop. So a lot of you people have failed to understand the new lingo or indoctrination or brainwashing that's going on. Okay. And this is up, this is more at, I can't remember his channel, but he puts out pretty good points. Uh, understanding democratic terms, or Canadian terms, or European terms, whatever idiots in power and whatever they're talking about. Got to fix my collar. Uh, been busy, I've been running around. Okay, uh, domestic socialism. Okay. Anybody who says that, basically a socialist or a commie or, you know, Canadian, okay? Democratic socialism. We know who started that one. Ow. Okay. Toxic masculinity, toxic masculinity for the average brainwashed zombie or mental zombie. That's any straight white male, or if you're black or Asian or Hispanic, any male. Okay. All right. So you make all Koreans and Filipinos very toxic. Yeah, they'll meet you in the black back alley and like. Yeah, we're going to show that punta something, you know. And I have to agree with them. A lot of my Hispanic friends and Mexican friends, yeah, we're toxic as hell. We're not homo. Okay? Political correctness. That means controlling your speech. We don't like what we are hearing, so shut the hell up. That's their version of ending free speech. Okay, listen politely. Like my Hispanic friends, listen politely. And then when nobody's looking, let them have it. Okay, assault weapon, any gun. All right, when they start passing laws like, you know, these Nerf guns are dangerous. Excuse me, it's a gun that shoots a rubber dart. Yeah, that's an assault weapon. So the state of Connecticut is arresting little kids with Nerf guns. Yes, we're taking the kids away from their parents. Armed them with assault weapons. It's a squirt gun. It's a Nerf gun. And you're dragging little kids with police force. You called the SWAT team on a nine-year-old. And you shot him. Okay, assault weapon, any gun in anybody's hands. You might be a little kid. Drop the weapon. Open fire. We shot the little girl 172 times. She arrested, resisted arrest. Uh, thanks, Canada. Okay, identify as. Okay. I, I'm doing another thing. It's not a movie series of one of the three groups is going to get it. Identify as, that's always used by Democrats, Socialists, Europeans, Canadians, Australians, New Zealanders. Identify as, basically, it's a mental illness. Print heading to B. Okay, remember that t-shirt I tell you about? The bureaucrat, the pervert, and the terrorist or special interest groups? Okay, that falls under pervert or mental illness. Okay, there's a point where it's a lifestyle and you like to do it, not a problem. But when you say identify as, then it gets into the, you know, we're talking logically and seriously, you're going to either a mental hospital or a prison. Okay? Pro-choice. That's legalized murder. Now, I keep telling people, 
Uncle Al believes in abortion. Okay, I believe in postnatal abortion. There's a lot of fetuses walking around for the last 48 or 36 or 25 years. And it's my job to remove that sick fetus off the face of the world. But I'm a college student. Not a problem. And if Uncle Al goes to trial, abortion is legal in the state of New York and California. So I can postnatal abortion anybody in the state of California, Washington and Oregon, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, what else, what other places where abortion is legal. Okay, so you remember that when Uncle Alan's pounding a stake into your chest. Uncle Alan's pro-choice. But I'm a human being. So is that little baby. All right. And then I'll drag the corpse to the... Uh, this is your 48-year-old son. The fetus is terminated. Okay. And by law, Uncle Alan should not be charged with murder. It's legalized abortion. Okay. Pro-choice. Undocument. That's either an illegal slave or a new voter. Okay. Undocumented voters. Now, a lot of Democrats use this to twist things around. Sometimes it helps. A lot of people got education. A lot of people learned how to read. A lot of people skirted the Democratic rules of the 1890s to 1930s by doing this. Now, Uncle Alan's twisting it back. Okay? Undocumented. Illegal slave. If you don't go through the right channels, you're a slave to the Democratic Party. Or you're a new voter. You can vote as many times as you want. Don't care about the, the consequences. Okay? You're going to prison and you'll still be a slave. You just don't know it. That's undocumented. News reporting. That's the big joke of the world. Liberal viewpoint liberal viewpoint talking points, okay? Or paid propaganda. That's news reporting. Climate change, another major tax opportunity. Canada's doing a lot. That's why your businesses are failing. That's why Europe doesn't have any resources. And they, they're taxing their people so much that people can't stand it anymore, all right? Climate change is a joke. It's happening, but it's not caused by CO2. And a lot of you guys are being lied to. All they want to do is take your money. And they said, well, you gave us your money. I'm sorry, but, you know, we didn't know. You take that leader and you tar and feather them. And God knows what's going on. They don't. Inequality. Okay, uh, the pay scale is inequality. No, we do it because of the job skill. All right, we don't pay people for crappy work. Well, we want everybody to have money. Yeah, it's my money. Don't take my money. Okay, your money should be theirs. Okay, robbing Peter and Pa at the same time. Read it in the Bible. Okay. That's a joke. Okay, and they know it. It's wordplay used by Democrats, used by socialists, used by Europeans, used by Canadians. Okay, racist, kook, CT, fascist, Nazi, Uncle Al, anyone who disagrees with their viewpoint of their reality of the world. Okay, folks. Like I said, this is Uncle Al Chats with you. Just say no to Captain Crazy and crew. Join up to Die Bullfrog 79. Hit the like button. Leave a nice comment. Send $2.17 to PayPal below. Stop the madness. Keep calm. Don't panic. Carry on. Save America from 2040. The horrors. 17 years left. Now, a lot of people 
have cut down on their charitable donation because of what the Democrats are doing and some liberal Republicans. So instead of donating money to the Democratic Party or Joe Biden, you donated to Uncle Al. All right? If everybody in the world donated $2.17 to Uncle Al, everything will be fine. Everything will be perfect. All right? None of this crap. Okay? Except for California because everybody has a mental problem. This leads us to the second civil war. Code word? Domestic conflict. Remember, there's going to be a lot of pro-choice elimination of the other side. Check out these fine people. Danger Dale. Who's your prepping nurse? Prepping by faith. Prepping by Sarge. Sassy gal. Prepping. Alpine preparedness. Sorry about the snow. Uh, nay, nay, northern prepper. Sorry about the snow, drought, and hail. And lightning. And garden state gardener. Sorry about the high winds, hurricane, tornadoes. Uh, what else is coming? Oh yeah, snow. And that's Joe. Check out his channel. Help support Joey. Check out Sunday Funday. Really good show. Alright. And I'll catch you later. This has been a fun day. Uncle Alan's busy all the time. Remember, this is third whoops, third year of World War Three. Second year of I know third year of SHTF. Second year of World War Three. What else is going on? Okay, you only have a few days before July eleventh. I got a lot of doctor appointments lined up. Uncle Alan isn't very well. Okay. Let's see who's going to make it or not. It's a fun day, a fun summer. Who's going to be racing down to Lowell's and Home Depot getting that generator at the last minute and beating people off? That doesn't sound right, but you know what I mean. Anyway, folks, be a nice person. Have a barbecue. Get to know your neighbors. Hand out sheets of hot, what food you can stockpile, what to do with it. Write down the date. Do spreadsheets. Be a nice person, help out, plant a garden. And a lot of you who planted trees, it takes five years. And you have to know what you're doing. Just drive me nuts. Anyway, uh, be a nice person. Long live the Republic. God bless, and I'll catch you later. Remember, all this is an illusion. It's not real. And you have a nice day. Bye now.